trying to find it on my phone oh there we are there we are good morning everyone what day is it uh, oh tuesday i i worked yesterday I, was, I worked yesterday and i don't work on mondays at in the office normally so um i was so confused all day yesterday i couldn't figure out the date i it it was it was bad news all day yesterday i was really confused um and so today i don't know what day it is either <laughs> <laughs> so you still love the music every day. Yeah, I find myself humming it during the day. It's really weird. And I'm like, what does that mean? Oh, yeah, that's our, our music. You know, I hear it so often. Um, and it's it's just kind of happy music. So it is it, happy music. It's just, you know. And we can do it without the barking. I, the barking probably makes your dogs crazy when they're Explain listening. So. To everybody, the, the new and improved environment. Oh. We have so new and improved environment we haven't been putting the dogs on the table and it just was crowding my space here um, but uh, we have decided that we're going to live in less clutter and you know it is freeing liberating it's like you take a big sigh let me tell you that whole Marie Kondo decluttering thing yeah, yeah. There's a lot to be said for that. I mean, we're doing it because, you know, we have to figure out what we're keeping and what we're not keeping and that sort of thing. But um, let me tell you, we walked through our house and we you know, like took all the crap off the kitchen cabinets and we filed all of our filing and, you know, just like, got all the piles of stuff off of everything. And you walk through the house now, it's just like, oh, this is, this is cool. This is cool. So there is something to be said for getting all your stuff filed away, everything in its place and a place for everything and all that stuff. And we took 16 bags of clothes. Mm -hmm. I mean, ten of them were my mom's, but uh, to Goodwill. And, uh, you know, I look at that and say, well, that's recycling. And that, I mean, there was stuff that went there that still had tags on it. Like, we bought it and then went, eh. Um, so recycling is, is good. You wouldn't know where to start. You know what? You just start. You just start. You pick... So when we, we started this process, you know, well, pretty much when Gwen announced she was pregnant and I said, okay, well, that does it. We're going to have to go to North Carolina at some point. Um, and we started and I started, I just picked one cabinet and went through it. Uh, the first <laughs> few, few weeks, literally my mom and I spent those three weeks going through photo albums and paring down because each of us probably had a hundred photo albums. Um, and lots of duplicates. So we said, well, we don't need duplicates of everything. And, you know, all those pictures that you take on vacation of all the scenery and you're like, yeah. And now everything's on the cloud and it's much easier to store things. Um, so we just went one cabinet at a time, one closet at a time. We still have a couple to do, but, oh, we do. Um, you know, you just start. Anyway, uh, once you start, it's a little bit addictive, uh, you know, and it's, it's just nice. It's really nice. Anyway. So I wanted to talk about PEMF today, which stands for Pulsed Electromagnetic Therapy. Um, so Pulsed Electromagnetic Therapy uses pulses of alternating positive and negative electromagnetic uh, fields. Uh, and those electromagnetic fields mimic the waveforms that are occurring in our body. So nothing is static. Like we would look at this granite desktop and say, it's not moving, it's solid. No, in actuality, there's a lot of motion going on in there, all the little positive and negative ions that are charging around. So, you know, we're gonna go back to high school science. Um, but nothing is, uh, is really static. Everything is in motion at all times. So this uh, pulsed electromagnetic field basically is mimicking what is going on in waveforms in our body in each of our individual cells. Uh, so it creates currents without uh, generating heat. So when we use PEMF, we're using a device that is going to make those waveforms, but it's not going to generate heat. And that's one of the things when we talked about laser, you have to be careful that you're not using a later laser that's going to heat up and actually cause thermal injuries or burns to the body. Um, 
And so these uh, electromagnetic fields can actually alter the signals that are happening within the cells. Um, and it can affect um, blood, muscle, ligaments, bone, and cartilage. Um, and they will respond to those electrical fields going through. But you do need proper field intensity and frequency to modify disease. And so I've got something here. This is called the CC loop, A S S I S S I. Um, A S S I S I. I had one. It was like Mississippi. <laughs> uh, but this is a patented, targeted uh, pulsed electromagnetic field. And it looks like nothing. You know, it looks like, well, what the heck is that dumb thing? Um, but the, and this is a small one. They make bigger ones too. But the loop, you can use these on uh, humans or animals. I bought it for my mom to use on Shotzi, who's so gimpy, and for my mom to use on her back because she's been, in, you know, struggling since she fell back in June. So you can just lay this over the area that you want to treat, or you could put it around a joint that you want to treat. Um, uh, it, it changes a lot of the chemicals that are released at the nerve endings. Um, so nitric oxide, tumor growth factor uh, beta, you know, that's all that scientific stuff. So they did a double blind placebo controlled trial evaluating the use of this um, with 53 client owned dogs that underwent surgery for disc disease. So they had back surgery and uh, 27 of the animals had this used on them and 28 did not. They had a sham treatment where they just, you know, laid a loop over them. So the, it looked the same, but the owners couldn't tell which ones were being treated with the PEMF and which ones were just had a, you know, a, a fake loop that they were using. Um, and then they evaluated everything six weeks post-operatively as far as wound uh, healing um, <clears throat> and how the animals were doing. And pain medications were administered less frequently in the dogs receiving the PEMF treatment during the seven-day post-operative period compared to the sham treatment group. Uh, codeine, codeine was administered 1.8 times more frequently in the dogs that had a fake unit on them. And there were no side effects in any of them. Um, so the one that we bought, basically you press in the middle. I think that's how it works. Oh, you press this little thing. And the little green, can you see the little green lights flashing? And that tells you it's working. This one is an automatic one that it'll work for, I'm going to turn it off. It'll work for 15 minutes. So you just place it on. So my mom will uh, lay it down and then she'll lay on it uh, on top of it so that it's treating her back. Um, and then on Shotzi, we either loop it over her shoulder or her hip, depending on what we're treating. And it'll run for about 15 minutes and then it just automatically shuts itself off. It has a battery in there that is not replaceable. So this particular one, I think it has 100, 100 to 150 uses before it'll die. Um, and then you replace it. They're, they're not cheap. It's a couple hundred dollars. Uh, but I kind of look at that and go, well, for $2 a treatment, that's pretty good. Um, it should be used two or three times a day. And generally, you're using it a lot of times post-op for, uh, you know, like uh, bone plating and pinning uh, fractures that you're trying to get to heal, things that are not healing well. But it's also really good for osteoarthritis and other kinds of nerve pain or uh, joint pain. So um, pretty cool little device. And now you're all going to run out. I, I To get mine, um, oh, they're actually from New Jersey. Uh, to get mine, I just went to the Assisi Loop uh, website and bought it. And I thought about putting them on our website, but... Um, they're expensive and I don't get much of a discount to buy it myself. So I'm just, and I wouldn't make much on them. So I just said, well, I'll just send you guys to their website. It's a pretty cool little gadget. Um, I know that I'm not watching on my phone anymore. I don't even know where I, oh, it's under here. <laughs> um, I know that Sweta Desai in, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, but uh, she lives in Ohio and she bought one of these for her Yorkie that has, uh, I think, patello problems and uh, she kind of liked it. So um, anyway, uh, nice little gadget. Just thought I'd give you guys a heads up. And I just ordered something new for the website that will probably show up in maybe 10 days or so. That is also for arthritis and nerve pain. Uh, it's going to be, I think, um, 
incredibly good for all our CMSM dogs, but also uh, osteoarthritis dogs. People can take it as well. Um, so I actually ordered enough for everybody in this household to start using it. We, tr we did a uh, two-month trial with Shana, and the results were really good. Very impressive. Really impressive. So uh, we'll be unveiling that as soon as it arrives. Okay. Everybody, uh, spelling again, A-S-S-I-S-I. A little bit like Mississippi. Kristen, yes, on your CoQ10. Uh, you could even go to 200 twice a day. having uh, instruction on how to use our new $40,000 ultrasound machine. Yippee! <laughs> Everybody wonders why ultrasound's expensive. 